It's chilly out here. It's about 40 some degrees. It's late winter, early spring. It's um, nighttime. It's raining. If I stay out here much longer, I'm gonna start seeing spots. <laughs> Perfect. Do you wanna see some spots? Come with me. These are spotted salamanders, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of them out tonight. You might be surprised to learn that these are considered common in eastern United States, but they're rarely seen because most of the year they stay well hidden in their subterranean homes in the forest. But once a year, they'll make their way to a vernal pond, which is a temporary shallow water source with no fish, to mate and lay eggs. Here at Fernal Preserve, located in southwest Ohio, this epic annual nocturnal migration usually occurs around mid-March. Well, it's been several days since the spotted salamander migrated the three to six hundred feet through these woods to the vernal pond to mate and lay eggs. I can see most of the salamanders have gone back to the forest, but there's still a handful of them here. You can see how they got their name. They have two irregular rows of yellow spots that extend from their head to their tail. On average, they're about seven inches long, but can reach length up to nine inches. The males arrive to the pond first, where they deposit packets of sperm, called spermatophores, on submerged leaves and twigs that females take in to fertilize eggs. The female then deposits two to four egg masses in these round jelly-like clumps that are usually attached to twigs or other submerged vegetation. As the eggs absorb water, the mass swells to the size of a softball. The jelly-like coating helps to protect the egg from predators like aquatic insects and frogs. When the eggs hatch in four to seven weeks, the salamander larvae resemble tadpoles. But unlike tadpoles, the young salamanders have feathery external gills. In about two to four months, the larvae will have lost their gills and develop lungs and will have transformed into miniature versions of the adults. In late summer to early fall, they'll crawl out of their vernal pond to live in the forest, inhabiting burrows made by small mammals or finding places under leaf litter and debris where it remains cool, moist, and hidden. Because they only leave their hiding spots at night to feed and during their spring migration, these salamanders are seldom seen, which is good because staying hidden helps them avoid predators like skunks and raccoons and helps them live a long life, about 20 years. Some have been recorded to live as long as 30 years. And did you know the spotted salamander is the official state amphibian of Ohio and South Carolina? Well, I hope this has inspired you to be curious, explore, and go outdoors. Thanks for watching.